Hi, I'm Neil, and you're listening to The Whaler Podcast, a series where we sit down for a fireside chat with luminaries from the creative industry to learn how they got to where they are, how they feel about the current advertising landscape, and what keeps them up at night. We do a lot of research just in media usage. Um, in fact, a lot of people say, like, yeah, why, why is a company like yours so into Google and Facebook, or whatever? And the answer is, is because our, our consumers are. And it's about fishing where the fish are. We want to show up. You know, people know and love us on TV. I want them to know and love us on Facebook and on Snapchat and on Twitter uh, and on YouTube. Uh, and if they're going to spend some time there, I'm going to be there welcoming them. I think it was about just, you know, calling it out sometimes a bit like the Emperor's New Clothes thing. Does that make sense? Ask the stupid question. Um, but what I learned at BBH was the appreciation of craft as well and the real understanding of how that could make a difference, why that would be make something a little bit more special. And it was such a vintage period. And I look back and, I, you know, I pinch myself how lucky I was to have grown up at the time of, you know, the Levi's advertising, mm. the Boddington's, the Audi, Vorsprung Duck Technik, Hagner, so many. Uh, and that I was able to work on some of those campaigns as well. But it was often, you know, just going, what does that mean? Explain that to me. Because I think they understand that to get genuine breakthrough, particularly in, in that world that we were describing before with the proliferation of platforms and whatnot. Um, to get breakthrough, you've just got to be creative. But how, how we communicate, how we do engage with consumers, that has dramatically changed and is dramatically changing. I will dramatically <laughs> continue to change in the future. Maybe at a faster rate. Yes, and, you know, and, and certainly the pace is, uh, is uh, getting faster and faster. We did some work for Guinness on the Rugby World Cup and, you know, we were getting work out within an hour of the final whistle. <laughs> Whereas before, you know, the, the work on Guinness would take months of planning, research, um, analysis, improvement, development, and we're still doing that kind of hero work. And I said, oh, yeah, what's his name? And he said, oh, it's um, Charles Saatchi. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, oh, God. Charles Sarchi, oh, he's obviously Italian. He obviously lives at home with mum and he can't spell. God, that's just my bloody luck, isn't it? You know? <laughs>